Okay, about Joy's question, uh, how to handle this, this uh, cracking when you use, for example, ceramic mosaic tiles on a metal substrate or on a wood substrate? Yo, what's up, our people? Welcome to Art Block. Welcome to my life. This is Art Block 267. I'm here in my studio. It's almost 4 p.m. So why I'm late about this video? Because I had some s stuff to do, official things. You know how it works. Go to there, go to here, go to the bank, and blah blah. So what now? Something I have to cover. Yesterday, I forgot. I guess three three things to say the first one joyce had a question in the previous videos which i've totally forgot so sorry for that i will try to explain it right now it's about when you make a mosaic on what about focus here when you make a mosaic on a different material i mean when you stick it on that thing for example on metal substrate you glue your mosaic and then when you try to make your grouting and so on i will show you some pictures and you will definitely understand what i mean i can't explain it with words that other stuff is uh two other things no three so i said that we will go to uh, that island bolzja other that's true and it's definitely that island which has this abandoned ship I was on that thing and it was terrible spooky you can watch it in the vlogs I don't know which number I will try to write it in a description below if I will not if I will not forget it the hotel owner told me we had a phone call today he said that there is really terrible weather a lot of rain and you know and uh, he said let's do it next week but unfortunately next week the weather seems also rainy but we will go to there definitely i will take you with you guys with me and um we will take a look as i told everything on yesterday's vlog i don't want to repeat myself means next week we will be here in a studio what i forgot to say you know if you remember i went to antale i had a live uh, streaming from that hotel what was that name um to my unborn future so i was there for a business meeting with um with a company so and i told at that video at that vlog that i would create some holiday with and then some school they want to have from me and some other creative stuff uh, they said do whatever you can well <laughs> that's opportunity actually but it's not that easy and um i guess this week i mean there is just tomorrow's friday then we will be in Istanbul and then next week too, if in Bolzja does still rain, I will try to create some schools and school, you know, your, you know what it is. And um, some holidays and stuff and we're gonna spray paint it or paint it or uh, we're gonna make it a, maybe some in cardboard mosaics. It will almost an artwork because if you don't know what to do, you have no plan, so it can be just an artwork. Is that true? Almost. Needs to be looking good? No. Planning? No. So it will be an artwork. Almost. Okay, so I will start tomorrow and uh, next week we're gonna focus on that, you know, on that stuff that I told you about painting things on cover in the studio. And then one thing more, there is also this one project I told you yesterday from another hotel, which is also in Bolzjada. They want to make me a mosaic like an old map of that island with some ships and stuff. Um, we can take a look at that if you like tomorrow. Today, I really Really was totally I couldn't make it I just found a time to make some videos in Turkish and put it on Instagram um, that was all I could do so tomorrow I guess we will take a look at that older map what it is we will try to find it on the web and he told me that the original one is in Istanbul on a wall on a museum I don't think that I can go to there I'm not sure um, 
after we signed, I guess, yes. It will cost a lot of, it's a lot of cost. This indirect costs are really, are, are important, serious costs actually, because you can't see about, you know, what you can see is almost dangerous. Okay, about Joy's question, uh, how to handle this, this uh, cracking when you use, for example, ceramic mosaic tiles on a metal substrate or on a wood substrate and you have the sides like that, you know, if this is the table substrate and there is this something coming up, it's a corner and you lay your mosaic tiles in on mesh or make it directly and then you start to grout it. So the main problem is um, that grouting material, that grouting material cannot hold on both sides. It will rather, rather or whether it will hold on the ceramic tile on your mosaic, or it will hold somehow on that other substrate, you know, that metal or wood, whatever it is. It's impossible that he will hold on both sides because the things are moving and vibration and you know like that and weather conditions this stuff is you know bending and then it's um de-bending you know if you know what i mean it's it's moving uh, as a material so the grout will start to crack at the sides of the table so how to fix that how can we manage that well, actually, we can't. Um, the best way is to use epoxy, but even if you use some epoxy, it's almost impossible. You know, when I say, when I try to say you can, it means like a German, you know, you can is like a rule. There is no, can nothing come between, you know, if you can, you can. If it's good, it's good, it's really good. If not, you know, it's not. That says nine is nine, ja is ja. Like they say in German. I would actually say, to be honest, when you have something like that made for a client, you can offer him to uh, check that work somehow each six months or each 12 months and go to there for a small amount to um, check out the grouting and if there is some crack you can just um, you know you can fix it very easily at just small cracks but um, when you do nothing actually I guess in two or three years that stuff that grouting will start to fail especially when the table is outside and it starts raining and stuff so water will get in that crack and it will push that uh, that cracked grout um, from his um, location kind of and it will start to move which is almost the end and if you don't fix it next year that water will this time go you know uh, will try to push things away and will try to get under your mosaic and then your mosaic will come up and stuff if you know what I mean so the best way is actually use directly epoxy which is also not a 100% good idea the best thing is uh, to check it from time to time and make some fixing stuff we are talking art we are making art we are our community be sure to subscribe okay and it's every day peace out